Hello everybody and welcome to another South Bay Gamers Battle Report. Today we have the Death Guard going against the Oryx. And before we go over the armies, um, I just want to mention that I am doing a 200 subscriber giveaway that ends on September 18th. So look on my channel for that, um, that video so you can have a chance to win a Scimitar jet bike. That being said, let's go on to the armies. Go ahead. 2,000 points of Death Guard. Alright, so I have three detachments. I have a Battalion Detachment, an Outrider Detachment, and a uh, Supreme Detachment. With the Battalion Detachment, it's two uh, Lord of Contagions with 60 Death Guard as the troop. Three... Poxwalkers? Three, I mean, Poxwalkers, sorry, yeah, thank you. <laughs> three po uh, 20 in each squad, and there's three of them. And then with the Outrider, I have Typhus, which is right here, being a little proxy, but he's the darker one out of everybody. I have Typhus with the three fetid blow drones in the back there. And then also with the Supreme Detachment, I have the three uh, Malignant Plague Casters and the um, uh, Plague Marines. Two of them back here, I know they have the plasma guns, but they're actually going to be the blight launchers. They didn't come out with them yet just when they came out, so just a little proxy right there. Cool. And your Warlord trait is uh, Tenacious? Tenacious Survivor, and it, of course it's going to be uh, Typhus. Typhus. Cool. And that is 2,000 points of Death Guard. Let's go on to your Oryx. Here is 2k points of Oryx. Let's start with the Battalion, battalion Detachment. Leading off the Battalion Detachment is of course Gazgul Thraka, because I said so. And the Big Mac with a custom force field and a Grot Oiler. In the troops we have 13 Gretchen. Just Gretchen with a run herd as an elite slot just to keep him in line to be my screen. We got third, two squads of 30 boys, all with three rockets apiece, combi, scorcher on the knob, and power claw. And that is my battalion attachment. Let's go on and on. Then I'll last up, I have a flash kits, just five flash kits, and uh, a battle wagon with super cannon, four rockets. I decked it out just in death roller. That is my battalion attachment. In the the Angard attachment, I have a weird boy leading off. Sorry, that's a proxy. He's just gonna have the, the jump, allowing something deep strike. I have a squad of Burnas, just five of them. Just wanted to try them out. They're gonna be in a truck. I got a pain boy. I got three mega knobs with combi scorcher power claws. They're gonna probably be riding in the battle wagon. And then we have eight tank busters. Never leave home without them in a truck with a knob, um, nothing special on him, just he has a knob. And that is my 2k points. Uh, my Warlord trait is the 6-up Film of Pain, the Tenacious Survivor, same one. We are playing Spoils of War, and we already wrote off for the deployment type. Um, what is the deployment type called again? We're looking it up right now, give us one sec. Frontline Assault. And we will start deploying, and we'll get back to you when um, we get a shot of the deployment. Here is a shot of the deployment. Sorry, it'll be a little hard to see, but there's uh, there's a blow drone right here with some pox walkers. Some, uh, what are these called? Uh, 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 Poxwalker or him? Those two characters. Oh, this is a Lord of Contagion and the Malignant Playcaster. Okay. And then the Plague Marines with, with another photo blow drone. Some more pox walkers. Hiding behind the building is another. A malignant plague caster, typhus, poxwalkers, plague caster, blow drum. All right, and then orcs on this side. Everywhere. Everywhere, all over the place. Coming up, pretty big but part these of the were board. Slay and choppers, right? Yeah. So something I didn't mention during the army breakdown is that these are actually shooters because they have shooters, and these are actually slug and choppers, the red ones. And yeah, there you go. Flash gets in a bunch of characters right here. There's got to be like four or five right there. Tank buses on the one flank. Burna's on the other flank, battle wagon kind of staying in the middle. And as it currently stands, orcs finish deploying first, so they go first unless the Death Guard can seize on a six. Go ahead, you got a five. No. Command point? No, you're not going to use no. a command point? With all your command points? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Sure. Okay. I want you to go first, anyway. Alright, orcs turn one. So for orcs turn one, true priorities, orders received which was then secure objective two. So if I grab that with my warlord, which is right there, that is four points. So I thought about doing it, because um, that is four points right off the bat. 
but my boys only advanced two inches, so they would have not have been able to, to have screened all the smite and shooting that he would have taken, so I didn't think that was worth it. I'll definitely try for next turn to do it, because that is four points, so that is absolutely something I'm going to try to focus on. Defend objective five, which is unfortunately on his side over there, right where those plague marines are. You know, prisoners is just simply killing something. So... I moved all my boys and advanced with this squad. I didn't advance with that squad because I was thinking I was going to jump them, but then decided not to just because uh, I want to stay within the pain boy range and gas cool. And then truck over there moved, battle wagon moved, Gretchen stayed still, they're just going to hold that objective, and then this truck moved up. Um, hopefully, in the line of sight of that blow drone, we'll see. And then flash gets, I actually to jump them so they're gonna be over here on this side uh, I just want to kind of keep them out of the middle because they weren't gonna do me any good there I have so many boys in the middle to take out box workers I need some help on this side so figure I jump them over here and then that's it for my movement and psychic let's go on to shooting and assault for orcs turn one and of orcs turn one I will not score this one but again like I said I am going to focus on that for my next turn that way I can screen gas cool and it is right there, just in case uh, I forgot where that was. Defend 5 I will not get, and neither will I get no prisoners. So in total, no points scored. I did 3 wounds to this blow drone, killed maybe like 4 or 5, maybe 6 box walkers. And uh, yeah, that was just for some rockets. Um, shooting him, that was battle wagon, rockets over here. Tank buses were the one that did the 3 wounds on the blow drone over there. Flash kits, I accidentally advanced them with forgetting or not thinking I was gonna uh, to jump them they couldn't really move anywhere so I did end up to jumping them but they can't shoot now because they're heavy so again they're just gonna stay here and hopefully help that side out then um, yeah just some sh rockets over here shot into the pox walkers and plague marine one, one rocket shot into the plague marines missed and over there rocket missed this the battle wagon killed maybe like six guys over here and uh, some rockets over there killed some more pox walkers. It wasn't really much all in all. And I will, at the end of my turn, I will dump defend objective 5. And I guess that's it. So on to Death Guard turn 1. Death Guard turn 1. To secure objective 5. Big Game Hunter and mission critical objective 2. In this case is right there. Secure objective 5 is where these plague marines are. And Big Game Hunter is any one of those vehicles. So the truck, two trucks, or the battle wagon. That would give him a point. For the movement, as you can see, Poxwalkers and a little bunch of his characters moved up. Blow drone over everything. there, hid. Um, yeah, everything basically moved up besides maybe these Plague Marines kind That's of stayed it. back a little yeah. bit. Poxwalkers in character over here moved up. This Blow drone hid. And that was that. So in the psychic phase, he casted. Plague wind. Oh yeah, that did that, was, that did like five my, yeah, orcs dead. Yeah, that was five. Nah. Yeah, and then <laughs> I did uh, uh, miasma pestilence, and then minus one to hit on this squad in front. This squad in front, yeah. and then I did um, oh, what was it called? Gift of contagion yeah, that onto was, them. That minus one they're attacked. Minus one to their attack. Yeah. Which is a pretty big deal. And then I tried did, to do a smite and I messed up. Yeah. He smited and I was in range of one of them. Or oh, no, 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 he got one hit yeah. and then I passed pass it with a pain boy. Yeah. And then the other one tried to smite and I was just barely in range of my weird boy, so I denied that yep. second one. And that was the psychic phase and movement phase. Let's go on to shooting and assault phase for Death Guard turn one. End of Death Guard shooting, pretty, pretty quick shooting and assault phase. Just did some bl blight launchers, plasma gun, and bolters over here into the boy squad. Killed maybe like three or four. Then over here, the blow drone did two wounds via flamer, then charged in and, took, and three. Took, took three in overwatch because of the rocket hit and wounded and didn't pass a single one of the saves. And yeah. then in combat, he did four wounds to it. It didn't knock it down with my ram shackle, unfortunately. And then he, he one, wound back to one wound back to him in combat. I'm just rolling back. Yeah. And then everything else over here couldn't charge because it advanced. And that was the turn he will score, secure objective 5, and he will keep these two on two orcs, turn 2. Orcs turn 2. Still have priorities, orders received with secure objective 2. 
and I drew secure objective six because I threw away to defend objective five, and I still have no prisoners. Defend or sorry, objective six is right there, so my Gretchen will get that for me. No prisoners just kill something, and unfortunately, I will not get priorities orders received because I couldn't run Gasgo far enough to get that. I will plan on getting that next turn. Okay. At least there's 30 boys in front and okay. with custom force field nearby, so and pain boy. So they'll be decently resilient, but I plan on charging with them, so we'll see how that goes. Um, then over here on this side, Flash gets stayed still, so they get their plus one to shooting. And um, battle right, or the truck moved a little bit back. Not going to be in range of anything too useful to shoot at with them, because there are only pox workers nearby, but that's okay. Gretchen stayed still. Weird boy moved up. I was going to da jump Gasgul in order to get him there. But then realized that it's only a six inch range and there was no way no way I was gonna get him in range. Um, so during the psychic phase I casted Smite and I rolled a eleven, which is actually thirteen because I have Gretchen nearby and I have a bunch of them, so it's gonna be more than twelve. So he perils targeting the Poxwalkers. So I got a D6. He only took one wound from perils, and I did five wounds to the Poxwalkers, but then for this disgusting resign, he passed four of them. So I only killed one box walker compared to my one wound, so that, I guess that wasn't worth it, but it seemed cool at the time. The boys just kind of moved up. They, this squad didn't advance. That squad, that yellow squad did. And uh, I think that's it. Oh yeah, the truck moved out of combat. Magnaz moved out. The battle wagon moved up. And I think that's it. The pain boy and custom force field and guys were all moved around there. And that's my movement. Let's go on to shooting phase orcs. End of Oryx turn two. We'll score objective six because my Gretchen were on that point right over there. Right in between the buildings. Flash gets over here along with tank buses, combined fire, and took out quite a bit of pox walkers. I ro actually rolled a six on the flash kit so they gotta shoot twice. That second volley only killed three, but that's not bad. First volley I can't think killed five. Tank buses I think including the truck only killed four or three. I think yeah. three in total. Yeah. Either way, no big deal. Um Boys over here shot into some plague marines, killed one. Yep. Rockets did two wounds to the flow drone, yep. charged into the pox walkers, but then yep. I started my attacks over here. Well, first they shot into some pox walkers, killed some, and then I multi charged into both squads, probably not a good idea. And then I charged or I used them to attack first because I thought I was going to use the command points on them, which probably would have been the case. Yep. But I didn't start with them because they charged into just so many. And I killed a lot of poxwalkers, but then I also took some casualties in return. And they came back. And then they weren't able to attack, so then yeah. he forced intervention there. Mm -hmm. Another and wolf character over here. In total, I lost like nine boys, which isn't that big of a deal because they're just boys. But yeah, um, yeah there's that. The Meganobs whiffed on the Scorchers, but then did five damage in total to the Load Drone, so he just has one more left. Like, that's actually supposed to be a one. Oh, sorry. But it's okay. No worries. Uh, we knew it's a one. Just yep. Forgot to change it. Um, yeah, that happened there. Uh, didn't take any casualties in my turn. And then Bernas did uh, maybe like one wound total. I should have got him out and charged with them because they're actually decent close combat. And that's my turn, I think. Battle Wagon, I think, did like three mm -hmm. wounds. No, 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 you passed all your Yeah, I passed all three of them with a the disgust and resilience. Uh, that was my turn, guys, so I will score one point. There's still no first blood, and, um, yeah, no first blood, just no first blood and no one score any other points. Yeah. So, on to Death Guard. Death Guard turn two, he drew Air Denial, he had these other two from last turn. So, with that being said, he had quite a bit of stuff in range of Air Denial, so he's not going to be able to get that yet. Until he killed some more boys. Uh, the blow drone moved out. That blow drone moved out of combat. The um, so he killed some boys via psychic phase, so that's why there's not as many boys as there used to be. So it's such bullshit. Yeah. And then um, this guy moved out of combat. These guys kind of moved towards the boy squad over here. The them being the character in the Poxwalkers. Blow drone moved up. Finally got out of hiding. Scary cat. The Plague Marines stayed still, didn't really need to move much. And I think that's really it. During the second phase, as I said, lots of smite and some plague wind. Um, they got minus one to minus one attack. He gets the contagion. contagion. We well, rolled a D3 on the chart and you got it again? Yep. Yeah, I gotta roll one. Yeah. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Um, 
nothing else moving wise. I guess this plague drone moved also towards that wagon. Yeah. And that's it. On to shooting and assault for death guard. And a death guard turn two. So you can see some boys died here. I won't need to take morale because I only lost like four, maybe to five total. Um, during the shooting phase, they these guys shot into some boys. Actually, everything over here really that could shoot could sh shot into there. Um, this thing did absolutely two, two. nothing. Yeah, the, the blood drone didn't really do anything. Maybe one guy, I think, they killed. Maybe. And uh, over there, obviously the boys died. I didn't even bother really. To box walkers did. To box walkers. Um, battle, no, not battle wagon. Oh, sorry, your, your uh, truck died from uh, the... Uh, Playcaster, I think it was. Playcaster and it the blew, little... It didn't blow up. Didn't blow and up. Then, but then I attacked with the burners because he piled into me and yeah. he actually killed it. It blew up and killed, as you can see, Meganob had two wounds, one burner one. boy, did two a wound, wounds. did two, two wounds, wounds to yeah, Typhus. And nothing. nothing here and one wound onto them. One wound onto them. And then the battle wagon, instead of attacking there, because the, they piled in over into them, I yeah. fought and killed a uh, fox two, walker there. Two of them, yeah, I think. One so or two of them. Either way, it wasn't much. No. And I took two wounds from the explosion from yep. the battle wagon, and took two wounds from this guy, or one or two wounds. Yeah, one, one, it was one. There was one. And I think that's really it. He'll score big game hunter. And that's it. And that's it, because I'm still and first stuff. blood. And first blood, so he has three, four, three points. Three right. points. On to Orcs turn three. Orcs turn three had these two from last turn. And I drew this one and drew two, so that's pretty good because that is where my war boss is going to go and grab it anyway. So, with that being said, he will get five points for me on that one objective, so that'll be huge. Um, for the movement, Flash gets moved around just a bit, just to move, make way for the battle or the truck with the tank buses inside. The Gross just kind of screened the weird boy. Battle wagon moved out. Mega knobs moved towards this way. Probably will flame that way and charge this way. Burners, I guess, will stay still because like, if we move out, they're not going to really do anything. You can just smite them anyway, so whatever. No. Smite and um, yeah, Mega or or about guys go moved up to grab that objective for me. That'll be a lot of points. Pain boy and this guy moved over, and then let's see. I think that's really all I needed to say. In the movement phase, or in the psychic phase, I cast smites on this. I had to use command point to re-roll one of the die. I got it, he didn't end up denying it. And I did two wounds to it, so it's down to six. And that's my movement in psychic. Let's go into shooting and assault. Vorik's turn three. End of Vorik's turn three. I will score priorities orders received. Secure deck two and mission critical two, because again, like I said, that's going to give me five points right there. That's on that point. Um, flash kids did quite a bit of work, or a little bit of damage to the flash, or the sorry, the poxwalkers. The tank buses got all hits. That's including the reroll on the blow drone, and, blew and it blew it up. Did two here. Um, did two here, and then two there. Two over there, over there, something like that. Uh, let's see over here. Did boys tacked two in. Damage. Yeah, it's two damage. Sorry, sorry, two damage. And you did three damage to hit, two damage to to this malignant playcaster with the last deer and nothing. No, there was nothing there. Oh yeah, the duh. And then here you did nothing. I took out one with the Overwatch. I shouldn't have charged him with them. But and I, we were no, not there. we already knew they were gonna die. They were just meant to hold. And you're Gretchen, try to take some shots at the Poxwalkers and the. Drones. They didn't do anything. That's good. Yeah, they didn't do much. Um, either way, I scored a lot of points this turn, so whatever. Yeah. On to Death Guard. Death Guard, turn three. Drew Supremacy had these two from last turn. Um, as you can see, lots of stuff near objective two, so our mission critical objective two will be a little difficult, but that will be D3 points at least. Yeah. Area of denial, there is a boy writing six inches. Supremacy is just capture any three. So he has one here. He that's has it. two. Oh, no, two. Yeah. But I don't have three yet. You don't have three yet. No, okay. That's what and, I'm trying to bang on on yeah. too. So during smite, uh, the smite phase, that's what I'm going to call it. He killed yeah. the Meganaut, no problem. And, and uh, nothing was denied. Plague wind over, plague wind the, boys. over the boys. Killed like three four, of them. them. They got minus one strength from, uh, what's it called? A gift of contagion. That one. Okay, on to shooting and assault for Death Guard turn three. End of Death Guard turn three. As you can see, 
Lots of boys died. Charged in with a bunch of stuff. Didn't really do anything in return. That whole combat, I didn't do anything. He killed lots of boys. I uh, passed morale because of Gazgul over on the Gretchen side. Gretchen. Um, he shot his flamers into the Gretchen and then killed the rest of them via close combat from this guy. Um, pulled this guy in. He didn't do any any wounds, of course, because the disgusting resilient. Obviously, I think we already talked about the smite. Other yeah. than that, a bunch of flash kits died from that, so I will have to take morale. Actually, we'll just do that on camera since I forgot. Here's the roll. I got a four. I lost three. So I that's, yeah, I lost, lost three. three, so that's seven. I, I think their leadership six. We'll get back to you, I think. I don't want to go and check on camera, but um, we'll get back to you uh, during my movement phase, whether one died or not, or fled, I should say. And I think that's all we have to talk about. Yeah, okay. On to, you won't score anything, so three. I have six points, and you have how many? Three. Three. On to <clears throat> And of Oris turn four, so we go a little ahead of ourselves again. I have a habit of doing that, whoops. Um, defend objective three and defend objective two is what I drew, and I still had no prisoners from last turn. So as you can see, everything over here moved up, all the, co or the close combat guys, the pain boy, the uh, Gazgul, the Gazgul, <laughs> moved up, charged into some guys. I killed a bunch of characters, and in total, including the Poxwalkers, giving me three uh, kills for no prisoners, so that'll give me D3 there. I just kept a couple of guys on the objective so that I can get to defend objective 2 maybe, we'll see. And over here, nothing really happened uh, other than the tank buses shooting in, doing three wounds? Yeah, three wounds to the POC, or the boat drone. Other than that, that was, there was nothing else on the side that happened. Battle wagon obviously moved out so I could do that. I tried to smite. I think that's where it helped a little bit. No, you denied no, it. No, I denied it. Yeah, you denied it. That's right. Uh, I think that's all. Yeah, I'll get D3 for no prisoners. Let's grab a die. My lucky orc dice. Come on. Three. Two. I'll take it. Cool. So I get two points for that. And also I have those two. Uh, I'll probably dump defend three. On to Death Guard turn four. Death Guard turn four, he had the same cards as last turn. He moved the, what's this guy called? Lord of Contagion. Lord of Contagion up to maybe charge Pain Boy or Big Mac to see. Something. Something. Uh, the Poxwalker moved towards the middle. Typhus and the other Playcaster moved up. Blood Drone moved in front of the Battle Wagon and Runt Herd and all that good stuff. During the Psychic Phase, he cast a Smite. I denied one, the other one went off, <clears throat> did two wounds. Then he did the smite onto him. Smite onto him. He got an eleven, uh, on, but only did two ones. So one uh, one on the Grot Oiler, and then he took a wound. And he did the one gift, gift of contagion, contagion onto Gaskell, which Watch. only minus his strength by one, which is okay because he's still strength ten. Yeah. Should be one on twos anyway. So that was that. Um, just to give you guys an idea, he will get error denial this turn because there's nobody within six inches of the middle. But if nobody's within 12, I can get D3 or D3, something yeah. like that. Yeah, that yeah, probably D3. won't happen. There's a yeah. lot of stuff nearby. Yeah. And then Mission Critical 2 is still that one, and Supremacy is only 3, so... What do you... How many? Yeah. You have 2. Right I only now. have 3. I have 3. 2. Well, if you kill the run herd, you may have 3. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah that's it. On to Assault and Shooting. End of Death Guard, turn 4. As you can see... Gaskell didn't take any wounds, he killed three Plague Marines in return. Um, charged in, he killed the, what's it called, the Big Mac, no problem. And then I, I glorious intervention my Pain Boy just to get within three inches, so I'll get Defend 2 on my turn, or at the end of his turn. Um, didn't do any damage, I don't think. No. No, because you pass all your info. Yep. Um, and Poxwalkers tried to charge in, didn't do anything. Uh, like I said, pregnancy didn't do anything, so everything is over here is done. The blow drone easily killed the run herd, no problem. The uh, he's staying on this objective to get supremacy, and he charged both of them in. Battle wagons down to two. It didn't do any any uh, wounds in return. I think it was all typhus that did all the six attack six wounds because he's yeah. a beast. And I think that's it. So we get D three for supremacy. Go ahead. That's a D three right there. For three. So, for three. So we get three points for that, Perfect. and one for air denial. Yep. And he still has mission critical too.
on to... You want to keep that? Yeah, I'm going to keep it. Okay, keep on it. to Oryx turn 5. Oryx turn 5, so this is what I drew. Master of the Warp, Eject defend 4, and eject 6. Yeah, 6. So the uh, truck got out of combat. First, the tank buses got out, moved right there, shot into the bow drone, killed it, didn't blow up, thankfully. Uh, truck moved over here to get objective 4 and just barely within range. Um, then, let's see. The, uh, what's it called? Weird Boy tried to use first smite it so I can get Master of the Warp. It got denied, so that won't count, but at least I got within 3 inches just in case. And then the Typhus and what's it called? Malignant Playcaster. Play yeah. I guess they broke intervention into the, the battle Typhus wagon. Did, yeah. Typhus did. And killed it, no problem. Yep. Uh, didn't blow up. And over here. I didn't split I up didn't, my attacks. Pass all his influence here, so I didn't really kill much. But the yep. Flash gets still alive. Yep. And, uh, and took out a lot of those. Took out three of them. And I have to do, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, morale. Morale. And he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, I could have consolidated, so I'll consolidate him. But then, um, other than that, that's actually, actually it. So I will score six, and I guess I'll keep the other ones for now. Yep. On to Death Guard turn five. End of Death Guard turn five. We just did a whole turn recap. He will get mission critical objective two because he easily killed, the, well actually he just barely killed the flash kit on the side. That guy actually whiffed for once. Um, yeah, objective right. two is right where that guy is. He's just covering it. Poxwalker's multi-charged into the flash kit and to him. That's what um, and that's what actually kid. killed it. That was the Poxwalkers. They have a ridiculous amount of attacks. The, we forgot to show, but, oh no, I think we got it on camera, but the, the Plague Marine died from morale. Yeah. And uh, during the psychic phase, he casted Smite onto uh, Gazgul. Actually denied it, so that would give me a Master of the Warp. Yeah. And he also killed the Weird Boy, no problem. Over there, from the two Smites from those two. Yeah. And he'll get D3 for Mission Critical Objective 2. So one. And I will get two points, cause, or three points, because Defend Objective 4 and Master of the Warp. So I have. I scored three points on that turn. On to, or, or no, no, see the game continues on a three plus. It does. It does. Okay, on to Orcs turn six. Really quick Orc turn six. Drew assassinate and double objective five, which is wearing the way in the back right here, which nobody can get at the moment. Um, objectives don't really matter at this point. I'm, a, I'm ahead by a lot, so it's really gonna come down to whether the Death Guard can table me, which, <laughs> Yeah, never might not happen. be possible, but we'll see. We'll keep going. You never know. Yeah, um, crazier really things can happen. Right. Yeah, probably. Uh, the it's tank here. buses shot into the contagion. Order contagion. Got him down to one wound. Tank bus or the tank bus is the Gasgo. <laughs> he killed six Foxwalkers. Nothing was done in return, and that was it. This rocket shot missed. Um, I'm just probably gonna go hide, and that's it. On to Death Guard turn six. And a Death Guard turn six, he had these three cards, which was defend one, defend five. At this point, it doesn't matter, but he will get scare attack to three. Um, it doesn't matter because he needs to table me, like I said. So he tried to smite here, did one wound from the smite. And then in combat, that Lord of Contagion got him down to one wound. And then over here, he smited, killed five of them, which I will have to take morale, just realized. And that's my roll. I had a three, so one guy will flee. From that squad, I'll take that off in a sec. And uh, that's yeah, it. that's that's pretty much it. I killed the Lord of Contagion, giving me assassinate, but again, it doesn't matter at this point. Let's see if the game goes on. On a four plus, it continues. Yes, uh, it does. On to turn seven. Oryx turn seven. Again, I'm not going to show objective markers because or objective cards because it doesn't matter at this point. I just advanced the truck over this way. Tank buses move back. I took that guy off, so he has... Oh, yeah, his arm fell off. <laughs> so two guys left. Gazgul easily killed the Poxwalker, and I did not consolidate. So that's that. Let's see what he could do in Death Guard turns out. End of the game. As you can
can see, you killed Gazgul no problem because Smite's ridiculous. You killed both the Tank Pluses and the Gazgul. Yeah, I, in the end, I did have like we'll just we'll just count it. Just yeah, I have three, ten. One, two, three, four, five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, yeah. thirteen, fifteen. I yeah, had fifteen so points. Five. So one by five. It was a good game, all in all. Um, love these orc dice. They rolled a lot of sixes, and then also a lot of ones. Yes. But you know, that's typical. Um, again, don't forget to check out our 200 subscriber giveaway, and I guess that's all. We'll see you in the next Battle Report.